you'll need an editor or IDE in this class. You can choose any editor you'd like, but my examples will all use brackets. There are three reasons why I'm using the brackets editor. First of all, it's free. Free is good. Second of all, it's cross-platform. It works on Windows, it works on Mac OS X, and it works on Linux. And finally, most importantly for me, is that Brackets is installed in the labs at Mesa College. So there you go. To install Brackets, you would go to brackets.io in your browser. And by the way, I do install, if you don't have them installed already, I have Firefox and Chrome installed in addition to whatever your default browser is. And then you just click on the download button and install it for your system. Now once you install it, you can start brackets. This is the icon. And I've maximized this screen. But here's what you're looking at. Um, I've already installed the icons, but to the left is a file directory tree of the files that you have open, the file tree, the folder that you're looking at. In the center section is where you're going to be coding. And some neat features you can have is there's a little icon to the left that will split the editor. So you can have a single window. You can do, you can look at two files. So you can look at them side by side, or you can look at them one on top of each other or single window. And then to the right are icons live preview, which we will get into later, not in this video. This video, we want to talk about extensions and how to add them. The one icon that looks like a Lego, that's the extension manager. So when you click on that, it gives you a list of all available plugins. And what you would do is you would type the one that you want into the search bar, and look up information on it. And then if you like it, you, you install it. These are the ones that I have installed. Beautify, which formats things nicely. And that is this little wand icon over here. Brackets icons, which to the left here in that file directory view, it shows like a little hashtag for CSS or the angle brackets for HTML. So you can quickly tell what type of file you're looking at. And finally, Emmet. Emmet is great and it will speed up your code development enormously. Also, I should add that Emmet is available for a whole host of other editors, not just brackets. So install these three and before I go into in a separate video on on actually running things I do want to point out that you do want to have these plugins installed directly from brackets but you can get documentation. So you don't want to go to the Emmet website to download the plugin, but I'm here so that you can see the variety of editors that Emmet, you can use Emmet on. And it's that powerful. Also for Emmet, there are a number of 
there's a, a cheat sheet and I don't have this here but it is docs.emmit.io slash cheat sheet and please excuse my mechanical keyboard mechanical keyboard which you probably heard me typing so you can download it if you want a PDF or I usually will just search on the web page however there's more there's videos and other documentation available this is just a quick dirty way to look things up okay so in if you choose to install brackets then make sure that you get those three that you install those three plugins beautify brackets icons and emmet and then we'll get into it a little more in the next video